there's an alien invader among us and it's spreading like wildfire. It's destroying local vegetation, invading and then taking over whole habitats. This imposter is strong enough to knock walls over. It can burst through tarmac. And maybe, just maybe, right now, it's disturbing the sleeping dead. Because not far from where I'm standing, it seems like this alien has swallowed a whole church graveyard. And this is the invader. No, it's not a creature, but a plant called Japanese knotweed. And it's here in Swansea, in Wales. So far, we've only looked at animals and their habitats, but plants have habitats too. Japanese knotweed is an alien plant because it doesn't normally live in this country. It comes from Asia, but was brought to Europe more than 150 years ago. So, where's the graveyard? Well, it's here, I'm standing right in the middle of it. But as you can see, the knotweed is so dense, you can only just spot the graves. Japanese knotweed is becoming widespread now, but Swansea is the knotweed capital of the UK. It'll grow pretty much anywhere. It's even been found trying to take hold inside houses. What can be done to halt the march of this alien invader? With me is Dick Shaw, Japanese knotweed expert. Dick, what kind of problems does it cause? Well, apart from the obvious structural problems here, where it's pushing up past gravestones and destroying them, it also causes biological problems, where it displaces native species, driving them out and reducing the range of things that should be here. Can't you just dig it up or cut it back? It's very hard, to, as you can see, to dig or cut the plant. The, the roots extend to three metres down and up to seven metres across. Gosh. And when you consider a piece the quarter of the size of my fingernail is capable of generating a new plant, the task is almost impossible. What about weed killer chemicals to get rid of it? You have to be extremely careful with chemicals. Uh, the plant likes growing by rivers and you're restricted in what you can use and you have to repeat the sprays three or four times a year. Gosh, this is a, such a mammoth task, isn't it, Dick? Yes, you have to feel sorry for the people that have to manage the land. Definitely. The Japanese knotweed invasion is a major environmental nuisance. Since knotweed arrived first in the UK, its population has well and truly got out of hand. And it can all be traced back to just one mother plant, brought here by someone just to look nice in his garden. This is unbelievable, it's so dense. I think we've taken the wrong turn. Oh, I think we might have actually. Is the knotweed a problem in its native habitat in Japan? No, definitely not. It's just a, an ordinary member of the community, plant community, it's not invasive. Um, people actually eat it. It's not just people that eat it. There are dozens of organisms that are also found feeding on the plant. What kind of things? Things like, uh, well, insects, moths and beetles and also um, various fungi. Why does it do so well in this country? Well, if you look at the plant here, there's nothing feeding on it. There's no damage and that's why it has an unfair advantage over its new neighbours. It came in without these natural enemies because it was a desirable plant. And the Victorians didn't want a, a damaged looking plant in their gardens. Wherever it takes root, it can take over. What can we do to try and keep it under control? Well, the hope is that if we go back to Japan and find the things that do feed on it, amongst the multitude of organisms that will be there, there will be some that have evolved to be very specific just to this plant. And our job will be to test it and make sure that they are specific and safe to introduce. OK, Dick, I think we should get out of here so you can make a start now. Which way did we come in? The reason this plant is growing so well in Britain is nothing feeds on it. It's a real problem because there are plenty of habitats here where it can thrive. Take a look where you live. This alien might just be invading right now.